it's that time. I said I was going to do it, so I'm going to do it. Today, we'll be getting the trophy master calling card. So I have every single thing here unlocked for the trophy event. I have both of the masteries. I have every single item except for this trophy hunt master calling card, which costs 1,000 trophies. And I'm currently only at 27. So basically, I'm at zero. That is a very minuscule amount compared to the 1,000 that we need. So if you're starting completely at zero, we need to play 83.3 games of DMZ to get all the way up to 1,000 trophies. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm already set up here in DMZ. And let's just hop in and start grinding these out. All right, we're starting at game one. I'm a little nervous to see how long this actually takes. This is all going to depend on our spawn. If we can actually upload all of our trophies before dying. And just how fast we can get in and find everything. Let me pick up my gun, please. Ooh, rough start here. But this is by far the fastest method. I basically tried about everything. Uh, plunder could be about the same speed. But you are going against real people. You don't get the, the tokens from the AI. I guess you can get them from like supply drops and things like that. But honestly, I think doing it here in DMZ is the fastest. Because we just spawned in and we already have how many? Four or five tokens? Oh, six. Make that seven. And this has to be the most I've played DMZ like ever. I played it a bit when it first came out and it was fun because everything was new. You know, just trying to find keys to things and exploring. But you don't get a whole lot out of playing this mode. At least I don't. I, I know there's people that enjoy it, so I, I, I won't shit on it. But it seems like COD's really trying to push people into this mode. They've been adding in a lot of uh, pay-to-win bundles for specifically DMZ. Because most recently, they added a bundle in that gives you a free self-revive every time you load in with that exact operator, which is crazy. And we already have all of our trophies, so... The best part about this, you do a quick upload and you literally just back out and then you hop right into the next game. There's a quick 12. We just need about uh, 900 more. And this is the bundle I was talking about. This is basically like the same thing. Yeah, Dark Rituals 2. They already dropped a sequel to this bundle and they added a free self revive with it, which is wild. Why don't they just let you like earn stuff like that? Because it would be fun to try to grind up and be like, hey, now I have this operator that has a free self revive on and he spawns in with like uh, an airstrike or something. And I grinded for that instead of just tossed a few bucks in. I just wish that they took some of the store stuff and just put that to, uh, you know, something you can grind for. It'd be nice to have some cooler unlockables outside of camos. But initially when this event came out, I thought that this calling card was going to be way, way more difficult to get. So I was only really playing like multiplayer. I was playing just like shipment, basically trying to get these trophies. And it was taking 12, 15 minutes for every six like trophies that I got. Now that we can just hop in here and get them, this calling card ain't too bad. It just might take like an hour or two. I guess we'll see. But my two options for, for grinding today were trying to get up to 10 wins in ranked or trying to get to a thousand trophies. And I tried the rank thing for a little bit, but uh, I think I fucking suck at ranked. I'm not gonna lie. Not even that, just like I'm solo queuing and losing because like my teammates are ass, you know, the common thing that you hear. No, I, I'm the one that's ass. I'm the one joining your lobby, tanking your RP. Like I'm hopping in there and I'm bottom of the leaderboard constantly, just getting my cheeks clapped. And I wish it was a bit easier, for you, at least for me in ranked. You know, put me back down in bronze. I want to roll around in the dirt for a bit. And that one took a little bit longer than last time, but we got all of our trophies. Let's hope that we can actually get out with them. Come on, where's the upload? There it is. Beautiful, get me out. And since we're going to be doing this for a bit, we're at uh, level 515 right now. I'm just going to pop double rank XP for like this whole time. I want to see what rank we're at when we're done. But basically my strat is I spawn in, I, I set my little ping for the closest uplink station. And I just try to take out a few people on the way. See if I can get these. Nope. You guys can have a stun. There you go. Give me your weapon. So extra. Let me just wipe them out real quick. Ain't no thing. Oh, holy shit. Oh, that's an actual person. Fuck off. You ever think about that? It's every time I go to this spot in the game that I run into people. So I'm driving away. Never mind. They will not let me. That's a game down the drain. Let's hope that doesn't keep happening because that will significantly slow this down. And we do not need that. Oh, we're one away from hitting the 100 mark. Just need to do that 10 more times. This has got to be like the dumbest grind in this game. I'm not even going to equip the calling card once I get it. I'll just have it to have it. You think playing 80 something games of DMZ won't take that long until you're actually playing it? I think I'm probably reaching like game 15 or something. Maybe even less than that. It's been like well over an hour and a half. 
Yeah, this is going to take a bit. Uh oh, this is like a Telltale Games mission right here. Do we help this random stranger? Oh, with another team watching him? Or do we go get our tokens out? Are they going to help him? It looks like they're just waiting. Is that his corpse? Or are they reviving him? I think that's his corpse. Fuck him. Okay, don't snipe me. Okay, I, I apologize. I'm out of here. Okay, new mission. Survive. Good thing I got out of that area because it looks like they're mortar striking. Hostile UAV in the area. Oh, no, they're using a UAV. They're trying to hunt me down. Okay, tokens are uploaded. New group of bandits. I'm out of here. I've been doing this grind for a few days now, definitely taking way longer than I thought, but there was an update today that said that trophies should be easier to get and you should be getting more of them. So we're going to be seeing if that's true. Oh, you can get 24 trophies a game now. That speeds things up quite a bit. I don't know why it wasn't like this from the start, but you know what? Better late than never. What they have not fixed is the packet burst though. This shit is ridiculous, but that's a quick 24. Let's get out of here. What? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, fuck off. We are exactly 100 away now. If the servers can uh, hold on, we might be able to get this done. Come on. 52 away. That's it. Whew. Man, there couldn't have been a more clutch time to pick up that revive pistol. Holy shit. Oh, we're just about a game away. Maybe a game and a half. We're at 972. Come on. Let's get this done and over with. There we go, and how close are we now? It's gotta be like less than 10. Literally four away. I would go play a game of multiplayer for it, but I feel like it's fitting to finish it in DMZ, since that's what we've been doing it in the whole time. But I will be grabbing my uh, intervention for this last run. Hopefully it's the last one. Oh, and is this the good spawn? The goaded spawn? Please say that there's a coin deposit nearby. Okay. Not as good as it could be, but at least we spawn right next to a bunch of enemies. But this grind has been a chore. As you can tell, it's been a few days since uh, we started this. I've been playing off and on, you know, grinding maybe not as much as I could have been. I've been hopping on, you know, taking a, a few games at a time a day. And we are finally reaching the end here. We just need one more trophy. And then we're finally done with this whole event. And honestly, it hasn't even been that difficult. It just takes time to hop in, grab them, and, you know, leave. I think the most difficult thing has been uh, trying to deal with the servers. There's been a few times where I've just been kicked out of the game or I've just been lagging my dick off. And I haven't really ran into too many, like, other people. I think out of... I, I said 80 at the start, but then they added in the little event or like the upgrade to the event where you can get 24 tokens instead of just 12. So I think I played a total of like 70 games and like maybe 15 of those, I ended up getting out with zero tokens, either just dying or disconnecting or whatever. But I only really ran into uh, other players probably like out of in 20 games in out of all those maybe 13 of those games they killed me or, or try to fight me so honestly a lot of dmz players are pretty chill and it really hasn't been an issue fighting people i feel like the only time i really ran into a whole lot of people like in a row was when i was actually playing with a full squad uh, i streamed getting some of these trophies for a little bit because i figured i might as well you know if i'm gonna be sitting here just grinding up trophies and we had like three games back to back where we're getting attacked by other squads but for the most part I i've stayed pacifist i've killed a few people sometimes unjustly but most of the time if i see somebody i just let them pass and i'm not excited to see how many hours of footage this has taken if i had to guess it's probably about like 10 hours total probably could have been a little more efficient but you know what within 50 meters here unless something happens it's done and it don't matter anymore we don't got to collect a single more trophy and there we go there's five let's leave the game maybe we'll even get a battle pass token out of it hey let's go now show me that thousand trophies please go ahead Let's go, 1,001. And now let's go to the event tab and finally claim our calling card. All 1,000 trophies down the drain. <sighs> and there it is. Uh, let me see what it looks like. Where is it even at? There it is. I am not going to equip it because I might have equipped this other one during the whole like custom game calling card thing where you could just clip whatever. But I have it. It's done. I'm never going to use it, but I, I, it's here. We got it. Well, that was an extremely pointless grind, but it's finally over. Uh, I do not want to do this ever again. Please just bring back camos for, for these season events, please. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.